All right guys, I'm at home for the holidays, so I thought I would do a home workout. Some things you'll need. I have this active resistance band. This one is extra heavy. I think they have like heavy. I'm sure they have less than that. Um, and I just picked this up at Meijer. So it's just a resistance band. And then I have some dumbbells. So I have 40 pound dumbbells. I have two of them. You might want to go with lighter ones. You might want to go with heavier ones. The reason I have 40 pound ones is because it's a weight that I can do quite a few reps with. Pick a weight that works for you. Everybody's different. All right, everyone, this is the first home workout I've ever done on this channel. So I'm gonna put all the exercises, the reps, the sets, all of that in the description. So if you miss anything, as I try to go over some of the movements or the exercises, don't worry, it's all in the description. So make sure to check that out. So I started off with some push-ups as a warm-up, and then I actually have some dumbbells, which I stated earlier, and I did a flat dumbbell chest press three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Most of the exercises were um, three sets today. And then I went on to these flat dumbbell chest flies, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then here I'm doing a flat resistance band chest fly. So you're gonna lay on the band more towards your upper back. And then I grab it with my thumbs out and then slowly go up, squeeze. I hold it at the top because, you know, there might not be enough resistance. You might have to play with how much resistance you have. And then this is just, again, a different angle. And you can see again, how I'm holding it at the top as well as holding it at the bottom to really focus on, you know, hitting the chest and not the shoulders. And here I'm doing a resistance band bicep curl to a shoulder press. So it's really two exercises in one. And you can see again how I'm doing it. And I did three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And you'll notice where my feet are at as well as I kind of demonstrate. The closer your feet are together with the band, the more difficult, or sorry, the, the easier it'll be. And the wider you go, the more difficult it will be. And here I just, to make it more difficult because shrugs, you can typically do quite a bit of weight. I went ahead and grabbed it lower on the band. But then I went back to the dumbbells and I'm doing these bicep curls, three sets for 10 to 12 reps. And then I went into some hammer curls for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And if you don't have the dumbbells, that's not a problem. You can use a resistance band, but again, I would strongly recommend getting dumbbells some you know, weight because it will help. Then I went into these resistance band front lateral raises, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then, you know, I took my shirt off because it was getting warm in the house and I did these resistance band side lateral raises, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. And then here is a resist resistance band overhead tricep extension. It's a single arm, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then I'm doing the bent over tricep extension with the resistance band. Again, depending on where you step on it, you will get a different amount of resistance. And I'm actually gonna go into some incline dumbbell press or kind of incline dumbbell press where I took a pillow, I laid it down. You could lay a blanket or your shirt over it so you're not sweating on it. And then I'm just gonna proceed to do the uh, dumbbell chest press at more of an incline than earlier. And then here I'm doing the dumbbell uh, chest flies. Just again, like the beginning, but more to incline to hit the chest at a little bit different position. So that's what you need to do. And here I'm doing some overhead tricep extensions with a dumbbell or with my dumbbell. This is where you can see, you know, obviously the, the more heavier weight you have, probably the better. And then I went into these uh, hammer curls with the resistance band, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And the reason I did three sets of everything today was just because the amount of exercises that I did. And then I actually did some abs. So I ended with abs and here are some planks. So I did these planks one minute um, hold with a one minute rest. And then I repeated that four times. And then I went into these scissor kicks. So it's 80 per set, which is, you know, 40 kicks per leg for three sets. And again, you might have to modify this uh, to better work for you, but you know, you should try to push yourself as much as you can. And then there, I just slowed it down a little bit. And then I moved on to these reverse crunches three sets of 15 to 20 reps. You can put your hands on the ground if it's easier or to make it a little more difficult, you can do this variation where you kind of you know touch your hands at the end. And then for the air bike, I did 40 per set, 20 each leg for three sets. And that's it for this workout. The main focus was chest. 
and then I hit some arms and I hit some shoulders. So it was mostly a chest and shoulder type workout at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would strongly, strongly urge you guys, if you don't have just a couple dumbbells, to get a couple different ones. I think they're extremely important. Um, the, the resistance band, I could have done more things with it, but it's just easier to have dumbbells, um, even for a home workout, even if you just have a couple of them. So that's my suggestion. You might even want a mat because when I took my shirt off, like it started to, the carpet started to scratch my back. So if you have like a mat of some kind, like a yoga mat or even something softer, maybe like a, a towel, that would have probably helped. But like I said, that was the home workout. And you can find all the exercises and stuff in the description as always. I'm gonna be doing more of these types of workouts, um, one for legs and probably even more focused yet. So like a leg one, then even just an arm one, just a chest one, just a shoulder, just the back, stuff like that to give you guys more ideas of what you could do at home, whether it's you don't really want to go to the gym um, or you just don't have time to go to the gym because you could hit some of these workouts you know, really quick at home. You don't have to drive to the gym. Um, you could just shower right when you're done. So there are pros and cons. What I do, you know, home workouts every single day if I'm looking to get bigger, no, these are just, for me, these are just like, I don't even know what you want to call them, maybe like filler workouts or, you know, alternatives if I can't get to the gym. They're by no means, you know, my everyday type workout. So that's just my opinion. If you're looking to, you know, gain some size, um, like you could do home workouts if you have like a full dumbbell set and you have machines and stuff like that. But for the most part, the gym is where you're going to want to be if you want to really gain some size and make progress if you're looking to lose weight the gym isn't quite as important but it's still important i would still always suggest going to the gym just because you're going to be around like-minded people who that is also their focus so that's another benefit from the gym versus just being at home is you're around the like-minded people who will drive you and motivate you so that's my point there but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this little workout video let me know what you guys think and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.